everyone in this video tutorial we are going to see how to download bathymetry data from jepco website so you can see here jepco type in and search for the jepco web page you can see the first link www.jepco.net i will be sharing the link in the description you can check it out now click on this link so we are going to download the latest bathymetry data uh, for 2024 updated from our Jepco website so you can see here download Jepco global grid so click on here just come down and uh, you can see the resolution of the data actually the data is being given in 15 arc seconds uh, interval grid so that is uh, for example 15 arc grid covers around 450 meters so each grid or each pixel covers 450 meter resolution so this data is 400 meter resolution and the elevation data that is bathymetry data is being given in meters the units is in meters please do keep it in mind now come down so so if you come down you can see the option download data for user friendly defined areas so here click on application just wait for a few seconds you can see the data has been loaded and you can see that Jepco 2024 grid now available released 22nd July 2024 okay so we are having the latest data sets so here you can see that I can uh, navigate in and around by clicking the mouse left click okay like this I can do you can see 2023, 22, 21, 2019. You can choose accordingly. So, I am going to download the latest bathymetry data for a defined area. So, now in order to define any area, first uh, navigate to that region, use the scroll button to zoom in and zoom out. Now, use the so press down control button continuously, press uh, control button plus use here mode left left click to draw a box like this so as you can see here i have drawn a box like this so it will be automatically taking the boundaries okay for this area you can directly download so you can see uh, some options has been given up so you can download the uh, image in a uh, net cdf geotiff esri ASCII so I am going to download it GeoTIFF grid based okay so if you want you can uh, separately download the color map of this area uh, color map you can download the hill shade hill shade effect now come down you could see that we have uh, the chosen data is around 78 MB and you can see the box inbound now click on add to basket the data will be added to basket as you can see here now click on this view basket and click on download your data now here we need to enter our email id so after entering the email id click on email download link so a mail will be sent to your email account where you can download the data sets so let me go on to the email id as you can see here webmaster you can open this uh, mail id and you can see the link over here download click on download to start the download process as you can see here the download has been started for me so the link will be generated within a 15 to 20 minutes okay so now after downloading we'll be viewing it in arcgis So the download has been completed as you can see here let us view it in the file manager so this is how the data looks like right click and extract the file extract here so i have already extracted the file you can have a view of it uh, you can see the uh, additional image which we have downloaded okay the additional image was the color map and uh, shadow relief you can see the other uh, map also 
shader relief okay if you want you can use it for your ppt also and let me view go to the arcgis and let us have a look at this image which we have downloaded so you can just see here this is the area of interest this is nothing but the land uh, boundary of indonesia philippines okay so now let us add our data by clicking on add data so this is the file jepco and this is the tiff image let us add it so you can see here after adding this is how the image looks like so let us uh, change the color right click properties after right clicking properties and here classify so now i am going to choose the class as 10 and i am going to uh, select classify and here in the method i am going to choose define interval so my define interval will be 1500 this is just for an example you can change it accordingly and you can use uh, various methods are available you can use it now click on ok ok so we have got uh, 10 classes now let me change the color for it so by clicking on here let us change the color so as you can see here I am uh, interested in this blue shade so I am going to choose a blue shade and by left clicking it you can flip the colors because minus 10,000 is the depth bathymetric depth so you can see the positive is the land and the negative is towards the ocean bathymetry data uh, keep that in mind so for land we are going to change the color so for 0 to 1500 meters uh, that is above mean sea level so I am going to change the color by double clicking I am going to choose yellow color and for uh, 1500 to 3000 I am going to pick a brown color and for the final one 3000 to 4500 feet I am going to go for another you can see how it has been given so these are in meters keep that in mind ok positive is uh, in land area negative is ocean flow now let us apply and click ok now you can see the difference so these are the land areas and you can see these are the ocean floors these are the ocean floors you can see here if you want you can also add the hillshade effect apply now you can see it is uh, looking much more better so likewise you can download and use this bathymetry data for your study if you have any other doubts please do ask and uh, please do subscribe and support us thank you very much